Hello and welcome back. So we are using now our operational amplifier to create a serious linear regulator with discrete components. So what you see here in the first circuit is that we have an unregulated input. And we want to create a steady regulated output. Now the output is connected in series with our regulating circuit, as we can see, not in parallel. So this is not a shunt regulator, it is a linear regulator. And what we are doing is, as we have seen in the previous example, we bias a sinner to establish a reference voltage. In this case, we have a sinner voltage there. Now notice that because this is a sinner regulator, we are going to be able to use a value of RS that is smaller than in the shunt regulators, meaning IS is V input minus the sinner voltage over R S. And so we design RS to make sure that IS is greater than the sinner current that we need in order to make sure that we bias the sinner in the reverse breakdown region. center so that changes in the current will result in a steady sinner voltage there. Why am I able to do that approximation? Because the current, the IS, is going to go through the sinner voltage, the majority, keep in mind that in the ideal operational amplifier analysis, the current entering the terminals, the inverting and the non-inverting terminals, is approximately equal to zero. Okay? so. If we have in the no inverting terminal as VC, what is the voltage at the output? Well, this is just a non inverting amplifier. You can look at the previous videos in the ideal analysis of operational amplifier circuits, and you're going to see that the output voltage in this case is V output is given by 1 plus R2 over R1 times the input, which in this case is V sinner. Now this operational amplifier we can power through the unregulated supply because they have a high power supply rejection ratio. We will want an operational amplifier that you can just power with a single supply and that it deals well with unregulated supply. And here we connect the load. Now the main limitation of this circuit, this is going to work fine for low power, low currents applications. But ordinarily, the operational amplifier has a maximum output current, which if you are using like the most basic a general purpose of amp, the 741, that's around 20 milliamps, 20 to 25 milliamps. And so that's the maximum current that you can provide to the load. What can we do to increase that current if we need to go to a higher current application. Well, we can use a transistor, and that's the topic of the next video. Thank you.